Hi everyone, John Mitchell here, Mayor of New Bedford, and this is another installment of the Mayor's Weekly Update. So a few things this week, all unrelated, but all good stuff. Uh, so first off, um, we launched this week at long last, of, after many years of working on it, the RFP, the Request for Proposals to Develop the Municipal Golf Course the, into a, an advanced manufacturing campus. Um, as you recall, for many years we have uh, been jumping through all sorts of regulatory hoops to develop the highest point on uh, the whale, the New Bedford as it's called, the New Bedford Municipal Golf Course on Hathaway Road. Um, the idea is to, uh, to create uh, jobs at that site through uh, the establishment of factories and other business, um, uh, business facilities so that our residents can have um, you know, access to uh, the jobs they need. We can create, generate more tax revenue uh, at the same time preserving the golf course. And so uh, that's at long last as, is happening and I wanna thank um, a few, many folks to thank, but um, uh, Derek Santos at the Economic Development Council, Neil Mello, my chief of staff, and a number of others who've worked very hard uh, to get this out, as well as the city council for hearing this out and understanding the opportunity and, and moving it forward. It received um, overwhelmingly uh, overwhelming support in the city council, and for that we are grateful. Um, so uh, it'll still be a little while before it gets to a point where there are actually uh, facilities being built there, but we, we just crossed the biggest threshold, and, um, and we look forward to seeing New Bedford's second industrial park uh, in the not too distant future. Uh, the second thing that I wanted to talk about also in the connection with business is that we're using American Rescue Act plan funds, ARPA funds, to support small businesses, both those businesses that um, suffered during the pandemic, but also to create um, incentive programs, grant programs, and, uh, and seed funding programs for new business startups, whether they are uh, restaurants, whether they're shops, whether they're small manufacturer, whatever they are, we want uh, to support their getting off the ground. And I think that's, uh, we have a lot to look forward uh, to there because our small business sector has started to get its feet underneath it, this additional funding. Uh, through ARPA will uh, help uh, accelerate those trends. And, and, and again, you know, we, we've seen uh, in the city, you know, a resurgence of the restaurants, uh, of course, that's very visible, but we're also seeing uh, traction, not just, you know, on the waterfront, but also in the North End and the South End and really everywhere in between. So um, small businesses, as they say, are uh, the spice of city life and the more that we can uh, energize them, uh, the more that we'll all benefit. Um, the, the last thing I wanted to add is that next week is the State of the City Address. Um, and there's a lot to be said that, uh, there, right? We have been uh, uh, in the last two years uh, wrestling with, dealing with uh, the pandemic. And there's a lot to be said there about all the work that went into keeping everybody safe, but also keeping all the, the work that we had been, had started going because it, it, it's, it's been so important, I've said this many times before, that we push on with the work so that we can emerge from the pandemic a stronger city. And the good news is that we are. And uh, I wanna talk about what's next. How do we regroup? How do we turn the page? How do we accelerate uh, our efforts to become uh, the city that we aspire to be, the, the center of, Southeastern Massachusetts, a city that's taken seriously, uh, both here and, and far beyond. It's a city where uh, people can connect with one another and feel a sense of belonging, where they can have opportunity um, to pursue the American dream, not only for their, themselves, but also for their children. That's the city we're building, and uh, we are, we're, I'm pleased that despite all the headwinds of the pandemic, we've been able to press on uh, with our work uh, because we're, we're really well set up right now uh, for the future. So I'll talk more about that next week. Uh, but until then, this has been the Mayor's Weekly Update. I'll see you soon.